guys, literally just loaded off the van. I am, am in love with this table. Um, obvious reasons, look at the lines. Look at the lines. Look at this oxidized, patinaed, whatever you want to call it right here. This metal is just really beautiful. Um, look at the exposed woodworking and hardware. It just would add such an industrial primitive feel. It might even make you look like an artist. I don't know, whatever your goal is with this piece, look at it. So this is a vintage drafting table. How do I know it's vintage? It has so much patina and look at the age of the wood, the age of the metal. And the trick that it does for any drafting table most of the time, this one is really also extra good because it's old, but it's also sturdy. Look at, look, this other one I have, it's a beautiful one. It's marked New York, beautiful piece, beautiful name, but it's not sturdy, it's more decorative. This one you could actually use for a table. Look at the little party trick it does. You see that? There, when it locks into place, you just tighten this and then Look at how, how sturdy it is. The other side needs to be locked too, I think. Let me see. Yep, it has a, a one over here as well and just lock both of them. Okay, it's not. Okay, let's see. Okay, so right there. So I think um, for a drafting table, it's supposed to end up like slightly curved like that. So you sit here and then you draw on it. Um, if you wanted to use it as like a window decorative table, it would work too. You just tighten it and then you maybe just go to Home Depot, add another bolt to it and it's ready to go. Look at the lines of this. No piece of wood is missing. It's just a very beautiful color. Look at the tabletop. Just perfect piece. Uh, literally just off the truck and we'll be listing it soon. Um, yeah.